You've probably seen the clip of Portuguese football legend Ronaldo moving bottles of Coca-Cola out of the way at a press conference before urging everyone to drink water. Oh, you haven't? Here it is. The stunt wiped billions off Coca-Cola's market value, based, but why did Ronaldo do it? Well, it's not rocket science, is it? But the display did provide an opportunity for a refresher on exactly why Coca-Cola is so harmful. Ronaldo is a machine. He's 36 now, which is old for a footballer, but he's still at the top of his game, primarily because he doesn't fill his body with absolute crap. And given that he looks like this, no homo, his protein-rich six-meal-a-day diet which includes lots of chicken and fish, is probably worth adopting. But this isn't the first time that Ronaldo took a sideswipe at Coca-Cola. During an interview at the Dubai Globe Soccer Awards, he slammed junk food and said it pisses him off when he sees his son drinking Coke. I'm hard with him sometimes because he, he drinks Coca-Cola and Fanta sometimes and he, you know, I'm, and I'm pissed with him. I'm, I'm fight with him and when he chips and frights and everything you know i don't like it even my my small kids when they they eat chocolates they always look to me and you know did you know that a single can of coca-cola contains 10 teaspoons of sugar that's insane you're only supposed to consume six teaspoons in an entire day sugary drinks like coke don't make you feel full which exacerbates weight gain. It's pretty ironic that the product once contained trace amounts of cocaine, because Coca-Cola literally has the same effect on the brain as heroin. It stimulates dopamine centers in the brain, which gets you addicted and triggers the urge to drink more Coke. Benzene molecules and processed Coke ingredients like high fructose corn syrup cause higher blood pressure, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and obesity. High fructose corn syrup is also specifically linked with an increase in belly fat. Fructose also increases uric acid levels, leading to gout, the symptoms of which are inflammation and joint pain. Problems with sleep, memory and motor coordination and decreased kidney and liver functions are all linked with coke consumption. Researchers also found that high blood sugar increases the risk of developing dementia. Coke is also terrible for your skin. The sugar causes it to become dehydrated, causing aging and acne. Excessive Coca-Cola consumption can also lead to hypokalemia, which causes serious problems with muscle function. Not great for an athlete. Coca-Cola contains virtually no essential nutrients. No vitamins, no minerals, no fiber. You're essentially just pouring sugar down your gob. In fact, the phosphoric acid in Coke actually starts washing nutrients and vitamins out of your body. 60 minutes after you've had the drink. But what about Coke Zero? No sugar, right? Yeah, and what about aspartame? You might want to look into that for yourself. There's also a myriad of ethical reasons not to drink Coke. The company continually virtue signals its support for far-left extremist organizations like Black Lives Matter. While literally lobbying against a bill to ban imported goods from China, made by slave labor. Coke lobbied against North Carolina's bathroom law as discriminatory to LGBT people, while simultaneously doing business in countries where being gay is literally illegal. They also facilitate the cancer that is critical race theory, by forcing employees to undergo brainwashing re-education courses that train them to be, quote, less white. Personally, I was able to avoid drinking Coke or Pepsi for more than a decade, but recently I've slipped back into it. Well, thanks to Ronaldo's reminder, no more. Fuck Coke, drink water.